Good day, reefers. Uh, I've made this video just to show torch corals. Uh, when I first got in the hobby, you uh, can see a green torch and stuff like that. After doing a lot of research, because torch corals are one of my favourite corals. Well, I actually do love all torch corals. I love the movement that they create in a tank. It should be easy to keep, being part of the affiliate family of corals. I've had success and odd time trouble with these torches. My biggest mistake being too strong a light or drastic changes in my lighting to try to keep your lighting stable and your parameters stable. Spot feeding them. A little can help if they accept it. Some of them don't. Some of them just accept a little bit. But it's not necessary you feed them since they actually own, actually make their own food from absorbing the light that obviously you, you generate. It's worse to overfeed your tank with wasted food than not feed the torches. Torches just need clean water, medium flow, not nothing direct at them, nothing blowing the skeleton. Low to medium light, strong flow and strong. Bring up the light, watching to see them. If they're getting too much light, if too much, then they don't open as much. So just keep an eye on them, or close up early, back off and slow down how much they like can they handle how much they'll need in combination of intensity and how long they are exposed to light purchasing I always get a torch that looks healthy at the top the flesh is all the way around the stem and no skeleton shown at all if you buy an unhealthy undamaged torch healing it is tough be super careful not to damage your torch before it goes into your tank no firm pressure on the flesh Shake your torch gently in the bag while it's in the water I find most helpful. It tends to close it, close it up. Then generally in the tank holding it upside down, tentacles downwards when placing. If you decide you want to dip your torch, which I always do in revive, pest control, don't go over the time limit on the treatment as I found this, that they can be sensitive to the dip. The best placement for your torch coral is a location that gets moderate water flow with moderate intensity of lighting. Just like Goldilocks, so to say, you don't want the lights or the water flow too hot or too cold. People ask, is a torch coral easy to keep? The torch coral from the affiliate is an LPS or long polyp story coral. It's considered a beginner coral, they are not difficult to keep providing you maintain proper water parameters and the tank conditions they require. Torch corals are one of the most commonly sought after corals. People, can you keep torch corals together? Yes, you can keep them close together, they don't sting each other and they generally should not harm each other. Hope you find this video helpful. <clears throat> if you can give us a like and a subscribe, it really helps the channel. Uh, it do take a lot to do this video. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the pictures, and to be honest, I hope obviously naming all the coral, all the torch coral, help you out. If there's any you like, if there's any for your tank, at least you have the name. You can just go to Google. Take care, guys. See you later.